What's up folks, Leo Shang here, host of the Extreme Flow Fishing Channel. You guys asked for it, so there you go. I'm bringing you guys today the Lucky Tackle Box unboxing for the month of May, Pen Fish Edition, right? The box is green. You guys may or may not be aware of, recently I did an unboxing for Mystery Tackle Box and there wasn't a lot of the novelty of tackle exploration in that unboxing, right? Uh, most of the lures were bugs, so I call, I decided to call the video the bug invasion. So hopefully today it's going to be a little bit different. Uh, I think it, I, I think last time I checked the video, the votes for people who wanted me to do this video were more than ninety percent. So there you go. Da -da -da -da, I'm bringing you the box today. You may jump directly to the unboxing. Or you may stay here with me for two awesome announcements that are very important. They're not very important, but for two announcements that are going to influence your life if you watch this channel. Let's go for the announcements first. We just hit 15,000 subscribers yesterday. Yeah, <laughs> that's quite a, a milestone for this channel. I remember when I first started working on it, right? This was April of last year. So it's been more than one year now. It's been pretty much one year and two months working seriously on the Extreme Fully Fishing channel. I had 500 subscribers back then, and now I have 15,000. So, you know, I would like, of course, to use this opportunity to thank every single one of you, people who watch Extreme Fully Fishing. And of course, I won't show you my gratitude only using words, right? Although I say that all the time, right? I am going to be bringing you guys a giveaway. Yeah, 15,000 subscribers. Giveaway is coming up soon on the channel. So stay tuned, okay? The prizes for that giveaway are going to be gift cards to your favorite store, either Cabela's, Field & Stream, Dix Sporting Goods, or Best Pro Shops. I'm gonna be giving three gift cards in the value of $100 each to three lucky winners but of course there's a twist to this giveaway right as you guys know nothing in life is free and the giveaway on extreme full efficient channel is also not going to be free however don't worry i will make the giveaway very fair everyone will have a fair chance of participating okay regardless of age and fishing experience you stay tuned on the channel because that video will be coming soon the second thing I wanted to talk about, recently I went to the Penny Pack Creek and I did what is called a Sunfish Superfecta. If you don't know what is that, you know, feel free to watch one of my videos. I'm linking the one to Tyler State Park that is in the Chimney Creek in Northeast Philadelphia, Bucks County as a matter of fact, where I did my last Sunfish Superfecta. It is pretty much a multi-species video, micro fishing where I go out there and I catch the four most common species of sunfish in one specific body of water. So you know I want to I want you guys to know I want you guys I want to ask you guys right do you guys want me to bring a video like that on the channel. Recently I went to the Penny Pack Creek, I did that but I'm not sure if I want to post that video or not. So comment in the comment section below. Let me know if you're interested in that, and if you tell me, yes, Leo, we want the Sunfish Superfecta at the Penny Pack Creek, I'm going to bring you that video so you can check it out, okay? I think uh, in that video, there is the bluegill, red breast sunfish, green sunfish, and pumpkin seed, all from the Penny Pack Creek. So pretty amazing. Anyways, enough talking for now, enough announcements, let's get started with the unboxing. Now, for real, let's get right to it. All right, let's open this baby up. As you guys know, right, and I'm going to show you here, as always, right, look, check this out, the box is still sealed, right? All my unboxing videos are ad-lib. In other words, I really don't know what's inside here. I don't know what my reactions are going to be. I did not have the chance to practice these reactions in advance, so everything that you're going to see is going to be exclusive as for now. Let's open this box, see what is inside. You guys can have a view even before... I do, of course, it always comes with a little LTV thingy on top here, so I have to remove that. It's like a cake, you know, when you go to the bakery and you buy a cake or a bread, sometimes they give you a piece of, come on, man, oh, there we go, there we go. So we got here the beautiful box, you guys can check it out, let me take this out. Oh, okay, so I guess LTV started to do the inside your box card again, and this is what we got for the month of May 
panfish box. Let me take this out. Pow, bye bye. We got here the fish hound booklet that always comes inside the lucky tackle box box. And let's see who is who is this dude here in the front page? Do you guys know? It says here Noah Piscitelli. What is that? Oh, that is the guy from Kicking the Bass TV, right? So there we go. Last last month we had Darcyzo offshore. So this month we go we got Kicking the ba their Bass TV. Good stuff. I'm not gonna go through the stuff here. You know, you guys will have to get an LTB if you want to read what is inside. But that, this is actually pretty neat, okay? I actually like these little YouTube coverages that they put inside the Fish Hound magazine, okay? There you go, yeah, very neat. You guys can learn a little bit more about uh, Noah Pesitelli's life here. <coughs> Anyways, let's get started with this unboxing. We got here, first and foremost, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different types of bait here. So there you go, one, give you guys an overview, one, two, three, wow, we got line, okay, four, Five, six, seven, and eight. All right, so we gotta go through each one of these in details. Don't worry, guys. I'm going to keep you guys updated on what is inside this box. And before anything else, we got here a little Get Lucky Lucky Tackle Box sticker, right? Let's take full advantage of this sticker right now. Is this a sticker? Wait. Oh my God, don't tell me this is not a sticker. Is this for real Lucky Taco Box? Oh no, it is a sticker. All right, it is a sticker. Let's take uh, good care of this sticker right now, all right? Get lucky right here, boys. Okay, let's see. We got here the first bait in the box, the Strike Pro Assorted Panfish Crankbaits. Oh, it has the price, you hit, see? $6.99, so this is very interesting. I just did unboxing for Mr. Taco Box <coughs> about a week ago, excuse me. And they let me know that they're inside the box went online, no more paper, right? And Lucky Tackle Box, I did an unboxing for them previously, and they didn't have the inside the box pamphlet anymore, and they came back with it. That is so interesting. And I keep telling you guys, I actually prefer my About the Box to be like this, okay? This one is the inside your box. I like to have it in my hands. So when I open it up, I know exactly what I got, how much it is, and what brand it is, okay? So this is very important for me. <clears throat> the first lure that came inside here the box, as I just said, is the Strike Pro. It is an assorted panfish crankbait, so each box gets a different color or maybe a different model. I'm not certain, but this is on the price of $6.99. It says here, Strike Pro has been in the fishing industry for over 30 years and has established a proud reputation all over the world. With over 30 years of experience combined with technique exchanged from Japan, the Strike Pro has become the benchmark for your quality. And as a matter of fact here, you know, there is a, a model number, color, color code, you know, everything here. And this is something very interesting. This is not made in China, right? This is made in Taiwan. All right, so this is not made in China mainland, but anyways, Let's take a look at this lure here, okay? Very interesting crankbait for sure. Very interesting colors, all right? And you can see this glitter on the side here. It's kind of contagious. You, let me check it out. It has a very good rat, rattling sound, okay? How much does it go down? 2.5 feet, so not bad at all, okay? <clears throat> now, of course, for the panfish in my area, this thing here would be a little bit big, okay? I'm not going to lie to you. Even for a crappie, this thing here would be a little bit too big, right? I would really use a, a, a size like this for crankbait more for bass. But, you know, it, other than that, you know, this is an amazing lure. I can tell you that for sure. Definitely going to give it a try, you know? <laughs> it looks very yummy indeed. Okay, let's take a look at the second lure here in the box. Second lure that came here is the lock. Is this for real, man? Don't people know I'm doing unboxings and stuff? I'm busy right now, mom. Seriously, though, my mom just called. Okay, I, I have, I'm sorry, guys. I have to turn my phone here away, put it in vibrate because I'm filming right now. I'm sorry, mom. But even if it is you, you know, 
feels lucky tackle box and box is more important than the moment. <laughs> Anyways, let's take a look here at the second door here. We got the lock, lock raven, uh, primal chase minnow. Where is this thing? Is this this one here? Oh hell yeah! This actually looks really good. Okay, lock haven primal chase minnow, and the the price here is three ninety nine. Comes two in one box, right? So it is pretty much two dollars each. It says from the slow and subtle to the fast and furious, this baits catch fish. It is no surprise with the versatility of these baits. So let's take this out and check the contents here of the viewer. I have never seen this brand before, not gonna lie to you guys, but this reminds me a lot of uh, one of those storm shads, okay? If you know what I'm talking about. The color on it is really cool. It has a, a black on top here and it has a little, uh, I don't know how you call it, but you know, the little green here on the side, right? That is really cool. Motion of the tail seems to be really good as well. Material, it does, it's not very soft, you see? So I can't really tell you how this thing would swim in the water, but by the motion alone, this thing does look amazing, okay? The jig head that is inside this thing here seems to be a 116 ounce, 1 8 to 116, okay? On a nice sharp hook here. So this is something that would definitely catch fish on the bigger side, okay? Yellow perch, I can definitely see yellow perch going for this kind of stuff. The perca flavicens, right? Even crappie, big is lab crappie, they will bite on this stuff for sure. I know that Nick, the informative angler, does the Lucky Tackle Box, right, uh, box for panfish every month. I haven't watched his video to tell the truth on this box for May, but maybe you will see him catch some stuff on this right here, okay? I would definitely use something like this. Okay, third lure that came inside the box here is the Vicious 6 pound fishing line with the price of 2 99 okay and it says here our advanced copolymer technology delivers a combination of strength abrasion resistance resistance low stretch low memory and castability making castability is that a word well i guess now it is a word and castability making this the perfect line when trying to detect the slightest of strikes needed to catch any type of panfish the extremely low memory of this line also helps to prevent the smaller jigs and baits from spinning during presentation. This is something that is definitely very interesting. Okay, 100 yards of line right here, six pound test. <clears throat> uh, Lucky Tackle Box definitely did a really decent job in terms of giving you the right test pound for a panfish box. Panfish, you know, of course I'm talking about multi-species fishing right now, right? But when you fish for panfish, you definitely don't want to exaggerate when it comes to your pound test line, right? In other words, if you're going to go out there for some panfish, fish that fits inside a pan, right? You don't want to go there with more than 12 pounds test line, that's what I would say. And even 10, 12 pounds test line, and even age, that's already on the upper side, right? Kind of an exaggeration for these type of fish. That's why six pound and four pounds test line, those are the test lines that I would definitely recommend for panfish fishing. Another factor here, right, is the copolymer. I have never used copolymer before, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. If you guys watch my videos here on YouTube, you know that most of the stuff that I use in my, in my videos, right, is either fluorocarbon or braided line. But just by touching, and I do not like monofilament at all, right? I, I would rather use fluorocarbon. But this copolymer stuff, you know, it does feel really nice. I'm not gonna lie to you, you know? So I don't know how well this would work because I have never used this before. I don't know how well I would be able to detect bites when it comes to, uh, to some fish and other types of panfish, but I would definitely be willing to use something like this, right? And uh, if you guys ask me what type of reel would you use with this line, I would definitely use an ultralight reel, okay? Probably my Shimano Sedona in the model range of 500, okay? Would work really well for this. All right, <clears throat> next lure in the box, we got here the Crappy Psychic, Crappy Trailers, okay? Let me see here. Crappy Psychic, Crappy Trailers right here on the price of $2.49. They come minimum of 13 to a pack and are made from soft, durable 
plastic. They are also scented with our new psychic sauce. I'm serious, guys. It says here psychic sauce. That's something I would put in my pasta, bro. I'll go to the restaurant and be like, hey, can you give me some psychic sauce for my chicken? <laughs> Anyways, the steady wiggle action of our trailers along with the special psychic sauce make them irresistible for crappie, panfish, catfish, etc. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but I have gotten these crappy trailers here in the past, okay? From the crappy psychic. So for me, this is nothing new. The last time that I got these, they came here in a white version. I'm gonna link the video above. I'm not sure if I did a slam for it or not. I don't remember if, if it was LTB or MTB, but it did work really well, okay? So just in case, let me open it up, show it to you guys again. Get this nice feeling of uh, whoo, psychic sauce. Hey, the psychic sauce ain't so bad actually. Oh, never mind. I don't know. It has a weird smell. <coughs> okay, I don't recommend doing that at home, all right? It has a, a very interesting smell. And this thing, uh, the psychic sauce is a little bit oily. So my hands are a, a little bit oily at the moment, okay? Don't think weird things about it. And there you go, right? You get the little head right here, little tail. And, you know, even without moving it, you see? The thing is moving just by the shaking, by the natural shaking of my body, right? This is how I'm pretty much sensitive this bait is. So you can imagine how this thing moves in the water, right? It is a good bait. Panfish, small panfish will bite on this kind of stuff. I think in the video that I've linked to you above, I have caught a red breast sunfish on this stuff right here. To tell the truth, you know, every micro fish out there would actually bite on something like that in the range of four to eight inches. And things, uh, and fishes above that would bite on this stuff as well. So highly recommended. Alrighty, uh, we are 13 minutes into this video. Crap, I always talk too much in these unboxings. And, uh, <laughs> you know, but, but let's keep going, alright? Next thing on the box is the Mustad Aberdeen Cricket Hook. Oh, man. Oh, no. On the price of $1.99. Let me check this out. Uh, cricket, cricket Hook right here. And it says here, Mustad's wire technology and nor tempering process means that hooks are lighter and up to 20% is stronger. Mustad Classic. All right, let's do a little testing with these hooks, okay? I mean, don't take me wrong, folks. I have nothing against Mustad hooks, okay? I, I've been using Mustad hooks for a long, long time. If you guys watch my micro fishing videos here on the channel, all the hooks size 6, 8, 10, and 12 are actually Mustad hooks, okay? I buy them in batches of 100 and I just use them out there. One thing that I do have against Mustad is Aberdeen hooks, okay? And let me show you here real quick. Aber Aberdeen hooks are these hooks that have really, really long shanks, okay? I, as I'm gonna show you right here, right? Just very, very long hook right here. And in one of my live stream unboxing videos, I actually show you guys, that is no longer on the channel, but I showed you guys that these things actually bend fairly simple. So let's do a little testing right here. I wanna see how resistant this hook is, okay? I'm just gonna use the force of my hand to see how much it's going to bend, okay? So let's see here. Is it going to bend? Oh, hell yeah. Check that out, okay? It can be 20% more uh, resistant, right? Like the product says here, but you know, the thing is, you can use this for panfish, I, no problem at all, but if something bigger gets it, okay, and just by bending this part, right, look, it bends so easy. If a bigger fish gets the stuff when you are fishing for panfish, right, this part of the hook here will also bend real easy. Let me see here, can I bend it just using the power of my hand? I don't, I don't know. It, it is sharp, don't attempt this at home, okay? I'm using the power of my hand alone. And look, I bent it already, right? So there you go, this is the Mustad Aberdeen hook. It is something that I would never, never recommend for folks out there who are doing pan fishing or multi-species fishing, okay? You wanna buy Mustad hooks? Buy the good ones, the bad ones that they have are really good. The pan fish ones that come size six or size 12, they are really good, but the Aberdeen collection, 
it is just not my gig, okay? It doesn't matter how you use it. You could be using for smaller types of fish, like I mentioned, but it comes a big fish, it comes a big bass or something and grabs your stuff, would you risk having something like this happen? You know, I wouldn't, okay? Let's go to the next lure here on the, in the box. Next lure is the Souther, Southern Pro Crappy Critters on the price of $159. We got here the Southern Pro Crappy Critters. And it says here, our Crappy Critters have a centipede body that has six pairs of legs with a double curly tails for lots of fish catching movement. All right, it's time to unbox this little alien bug thingy here with uh, six pairs of legs and a double curly tail, you know? The thing about fishing nowadays is that there are so many different types of bugs, soft plastics there, you know, that you don't even know what they're supposed to resemble anymore, you know? And wow, now this is some type of alien creature, all right? If I'm out there and I see a live thing that looks like this, I'm gonna step on it right away, <laughs> I gotta tell that much. All right, so there you go, double curly tail, as you guys can see, okay? with six sets of legs, man, they were not lying about it. There are six sets of legs right here on this little bug, okay? And the size is not so bad, okay? It's about two inches, about for terms of size. You know, very versatile, movement is really good. In terms of durability, I don't know what to tell you, right? If a fish bites over here at the back and it has teeth, then you know, you lose your soft plastic, right? That's why you have a box full of them. And truth be told, for $159, all right, $160 for a pack of this is not expensive at all, you know. Put this on a jig hat, about 116 ounce or 132, you're going to catch some fish. You're going to catch some panfish and potentially bass. Free fall this thing here in a little creek with a little jig hat light, 132 to 164 ounce, you are going to catch something, okay? Next lure here in the box is the Knot Head Tackle 2 inch grubs on the price of 155. So there you go. So there, no, this is not it. I have right here Knot Head Tackle. I've gotten these before as well. I don't remember which box it was, okay? But I've gotten these products before, okay? It says here Knot Head Tackle is focused on helping the average person who enjoys pan fishing so they can catch more fish. So there you go, if you are the average person, okay, know that not head tackle is helping you, the average person, catching more fish, okay? I don't like that terminology very much, you know, I like to believe that my subscribers are more than just a, an average person. I like to believe that you who are, who is watching this right now, you are much more than an average person, okay? Don't prove me wrong. They strive to provide their customers with the ultimate advantage in tackle. And this is the part that is interesting to me, right? I mean, okay, you give me one of these that is called inside your box. And then the description over here is supposed to be talking about the lure, right? Each one of them so far has talked about the lure, okay? If you look at it, re rewind the video and watch it again. But this one here for the two inch grubs, it never talked about the lure at all. You know, I mean, look, look this, okay? Uh, Aberdeen Cricket Hook, okay? It says, right, the product, Cricket Hook. And then it talks about the, the product, right? Mustad's wire technology, nor tempering process, hooks are lighter, up to 20% stronger. That is what I'm looking for. Not head tackle. Not head tackle is focused on helping the average person who enjoys pan fish so that they can catch more fish. All right, nothing about the grubs, how to use them, okay? They strive to provide their customers with the ultimate advantage in tackle. So, you know, I mean, didn't talk about the movement, durability, nothing about the lure, only the company itself. That is very weird. I don't know, it's just, it sounds very weird. Woo, boys! All right, listen, I'm not gonna open this on video, okay? Because apparently the little kryptonite material inside this grub thing here even got to the plastic, okay? The oil inside this plastic is also green. And I don't want to get my hands dirtier than they got already with the oils, you know. I definitely don't want to get a kryptonite collar here. Holy cow! You see this little dot right here? It was so concentrated here. It's inside the pack. It's all green, okay? 
So I'm not gonna open it up, but this is just a regular two inch grub tail here that will work on any jig head under a float or any, or jigging any way you want to do it, okay? Whew, that, this thing is too, too powerful right here, okay? I don't know what kind of solution not had tech was using. Let me open it up just to smell it, okay? I, I just want to, to smell it a little bit. Oh, well, it doesn't smell like anything at all, but I swear, man, the stuff, look, the stuff right here is green, man. You put this in front of Superman, Superman is going to start to cringe, bro. This is some kryptonite right here. All right, and last one that came here in the box, in the box, it is also a Southern Pro Tackle. So we got two products here from the same company, okay, inside one box. The first product that we had from Southern Pro was the Crappy Critter. And the second one right now is the Crappy Beetle. Okay, so we got the Crappy Critter and now we got the Crappy Beetle. Both of them focused towards Crappy, okay? This is a price of 150 per pack. A mainstay in the world of fishing, the Southern Pro Crappy Beetle, okay, it's talking about the product, this is good, is the most widely utilized soft bait shape for catching crappies and panfish. Most utilized out there, okay, the soft but durable texture is ideal for rigging on tube jigs. Oh, very interesting. So, you know, let me, let me open this up, okay. And I like the fact that at least in this lure, you know, it shows here made in the USA, okay? I think I think it is important, you know, to support. Well, let, let's not talk about this in this unboxing video, but all right, let me open this stuff and show you guys one of these, okay? Ah, very interesting smell to start. Okay, we got the two inch crappy beetle right here. It is just a chubby, type of lure i'm not gonna lie to you uh, now in terms of the the quality of the lure right i don't know why but this one here already came with a little leg here at the back that is half broken so if i give one little push over here look it's about to break already i don't want to do that okay but you got here the beetle right with its two legs at the end you can hook a jig head like this right tube style and then the hook is gonna be exposed here at the back, right? Not bad at all. And although I don't want to do something like that, but we could have gotten the Mustad Aberdeen hooks, right? And combined with this and actually done some fishing, you know? I'm sure something is going to bite it. In terms of motion, I don't know how good is the motion of this in the water, but this beetle thing would at least resemble a small fish, okay? So very interesting product. I have never seen something like this before, you know. I mean, I see so many weird soft plastics nowadays, folks. I'm not even going to lie, you know. Every time I see something like this, you know, I have never seen. This looks like a little walking turnip, bros. Check this out. You know what I'm talking about? Okay, now it, it looks like something a little bit sketchy. Let's not talk about that. But, I, oh, you know, let me give a bonus in this video then about... A sketchy soft plastic since we were talking about that uh, by the way this is it for the LTB box I'm gonna give you a conclusion of course but let's see what we got behind me right here that is a little bit sketchy in terms of being a soft plastic okay some of the weirdest things I have purchased in my life okay let's just start with this okay this is just a bonus for this video who the hell would use something like this for largemouth bass. It's not for panfish, all right? It's for largemouth bass. But check the size of this thing here, man. You know what I'm talking about? Who would use something like this for largemouth bass? Dude, we are talking about largemouth bass now in the range of 10, 15 pounds, okay, to use something like this. With like maybe three hooks out combined, you know? So when I first bought this thing here, because I wanted to buy one just for fun, you know? I thought, let's try it out, right? And then I watched Bama Bass channel and I realized even Bama Bass, <laughs> who uses the duckling drawer, wouldn't use something like this, right? But this is very interesting, right? This is one of the aberrations here of the, of the tackle industry in terms of soft plastics. Here's another one for you guys that is very interesting. This is actually for multi-species angling. I, I'm sure you've seen some advertisements of this thing in the market before. I never thought about doing a full review of this thing. I, I'm never going to do it. 
I forgot the name of this thing. I think it was called the Super Worm or something. Comes in a pack of six or eight or ten. I don't remember at all. But pretty much the worms, co the worm comes like this. And check that out. You open it up little by little. Oh my God! Check that out. Huh? Holy moly! You open it up like that. Take the last part out. This is the part that you don't need. And then you got your worm. Okay, with a certain elasticity to it. And according to the video, when you throw this thing in the water, you just open it up, throw it in the water and it falls all the way down, the elasticity of the stuff, right, the texture of it is going to make you squirm like a real worm. Well, guess what? It never worked to me, <laughs> for me. <laughs> Anyways, you know, I could keep showing you guys the stuff here, but don't worry, one of these days I will bring you a video covering the full stuff that is behind me, you know. You folks have been requesting it, don't worry about it. One day it is going to come eventually, okay? Now for uh, this month's Lucky Taco Box, okay, um, I think the Lucky Taco Box was fairly okay. Uh, the reason why I don't like it, you know, as it is, is because really I've been subscribed to Lucky Taco Box and Mr. Taco Box for too long. So for example, for the viewers that came inside this month's box, right, a lot of the novelty of taco exploration for me was already lost. Why? Because I have gotten the not have tackle one, I don't remember from MTB or LTB, must have Aberdeen hooks, I've gotten them before, uh, you know, you name it, there are some other stuff here, the crappy one, right, I've gotten it before, so, so a lot of things that I get on these boxes nowadays, not just MTB, right, but LTB as well, I've gotten them before, you know, and uh, <laughs> I mean, I've been subscribed to LTB, uh, to MTB since September of last year. And I've been subscribed to LTB maybe since December or January of this year. It's only been about half a year and I've gotten a lot and a lot of repeated lures in boxes that are supposed to be done for the novelty of tackle exploration, going out there and finding new lures. So some folks ask me via Snapchat and Instagram, you know, on social media, why you decided to cancel your LTB subscription? And the answer is really this that I'm talking about right now. I decided to cancel it because for me, the novelty of tackle exploration is slowly just fading away. The companies should be providing anglers with new products every month so that your chances of getting something repeated are very little. But this is not what is happening, you know? Even within the same company, okay? Same company. I've gotten repeated products here and there. And for me, that is not fun. This is only extreme for fishing's point of view. I'm not saying that any of these companies is bad. If you gather boxes and you enjoy it, good for you, you know? But this is my opinion, and that's why I am not renewing my subscription with Lucky Tackle Box. And as a matter of fact, once my Mr. Tackle Box subscription expires, I am not going to renew my subscription with Mr. Tackle Box either <laughs> okay just letting you guys know so there you go we have completed the unboxing for the lucky tackle box for the month of may uh thank you very much for staying with me folks you know Ta uh, don't forget there's a giveaway coming up on the channel soon for 15,000 subscribers so stay tuned and again i'm sorry this video was so long it's about 30 minutes just into the unboxing you know believe me i wish my videos were shorter too you know so I had less work to actually edit, compile, upload it on YouTube. <laughs> All right, folks, tie lines until next video. And if you go out fishing there, I hope you catch a lot of fish. All right, fish on. I like the fact, you know, that uh, this little booklet comes in every month, you know, but I get the panfish box. And there are not a lot of things here that are about panfish, you know. We got here, first page, a smallmouth bags, okay? Then we turn around. All right, we got a little lake trout because they're talking about Lake Erie. But guess what, man? We got another bays right here. And then we turn the page here. Well, ooh, guess what? We got a smallmouth bags. Where are my panfish, man? Where are my panfish information here? You know, and then we got some articles about Kinking Their Best TV, which is great, you know. Truly enjoy that guy's videos. I go there and then watch it once in a while. Oh, and guess what? We got another base. And guess what? The photo contest winner just happened to be someone holding 
a large mouth bag, right? Of course. I mean, you know, you think they're gonna portray a bluegill on that thing? That no way, right? And then we got here, what? And then we got here, Bass Class 101 with Travis Moran. All right, Bass, okay? Now, don't take me wrong. Travis Moran is a very charismatic and good guy. You know, he talks really well, teaches really well. But again, it's all about Bass in this little booklet. You know, it doesn't make me... Doesn't make me learn much about panfish or multi-species fishing, okay? Even though the box that I got was panfish box, and uh, we got here what the heck? We got here a food and drink page, slow cooker, short rib stew. What? Written by someone pretty hot too. Check that out. Now that is interesting. Nikki Martin. This has nothing to do with fishing, but hey, guess what? I cooked myself some short rib stew. Go to my lake to catch some bags, you know, there's good stuff right here. <laughs> Very interesting.